Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 31 of Rustic Waters 2. And um, you would have seen in the intro that I went dungeoneering. However, I have to say, I have to add, I've already recorded this episode, right? And um, went to edit it and then realised... There's no sound because my mic wasn't working because even though it was plugged in and everything, OBS, for whatever reason, decided to lose the settings for my mic. So I am not happy. Brief rundown. I went dungeoneering. I did stuff. Um, I went and blew up lots of things, as you saw. Um, I got some OK things. It wasn't wonderful. It wasn't like Yorkshire Panda wonderful where, you know, you get machines and stuff. It was just like normal meh stuff. Um, then I went on, I talked about the advanced, these factories. Well, yeah. In Mechanism, you, um, you can upgrade your machines. I mentioned that before. You can either, you, uh, you either right click either you upgrade them in your in your um in your crafting table or you can right click with the tiers so you've got the basic the advanced the um basic advanced and elite basic advanced elite and ultimate that's it i knew there were four and um so i upgraded them all to the second tier advanced I've also just left the enrichment chamber because when you upgrade the enrichment chamber, it goes up to an advanced infusing factory. So when you upgrade them, they go up to factories and it wasn't acting like the enrichment chamber. Usually it is just um, advanced, you know, better versions of the original thing. But with um, with the enrichment chamber, it wouldn't enrich certain things. So I've just got an enrichment chamber by itself um what else um i finished off that section where are we thermal energistics so i've got patterns and stuff i've got wireless the wireless terminal although at the wireless terminal i can see what's going on but i can't craft in it which is where ae falls down over um applied energist not applied energistics uh, over refined storage the refined storage you can use a wireless car wireless monitor to craft this you can't so upstairs i have um some machines and they're hooked up so i've got my crafting up here got my emmy interfaces and the molecular assemblers i have a crafting terminal here so i can access it here and craft anything up here that i need to i probably need to put a, a pattern terminal up here as well um and I've got some machines here. So I've got a redstone furnace, um, centrifugal separator, and the pulverizer. And got patterns for bitumen or um, smelting ingots. And all of these I got as rewards for that section. And this is for um, crushing stuff basically but that that's basically what happened oh and we got the digital miner didn't check that um that's in dark caverns i have put oh this is full i've put this here so that um oh it's very full i need to put them into the I need to put them into the system so that you know they can be used but I have an ender chest on it I'll take you guys to see it at some point uh, nickel I think can go into this I'm gonna have to work out how to sort it actually there is a logistical sorter quite simple but I should be able to use it to to sort to send things to um 
these machines. Should be able to do that. I will have to um I will have to Not sure how I'm gonna do it though. Um so yeah, so there is that. I also did I put a draw for prosperity shards? I did. Also um what I did this well this was between episodes is that down here I'm going to um have my I'm going to there was a bit of a lag there I'm going to have my um mystical agricultural agriculture set up so I'm going to have the seeds and everything down here so um I don't have to go upstairs and do it. But I'm going to have to find a way of hooking this up to, you know, the, um, what do you call this? System upstairs, the, the storage system. Because I should be able to. I'm off the thing, aren't I? Right. So that was basically it. Yes. And then, um, finished recording like i said went to edit it and um yeah it's like i did the montage for the um for the dungeoneering and then pulled everything else in and then it's like there's no sound on this why is there no sound and then i went checking and then i found out what happened i i um was not happy i think that's putting it mildly <laughs> I was not happy. Uh, any more aluminium? The good thing about the factories is that you have this auto sort. If you turn it on, it will spread the the whatever you're whatever you're doing within the factory spread it across um uh, across the factory so that it's evenly distributed. If I had it turned off then it would only put it in one. So sometimes it works to have it on, sometimes it works to have it off. It depends on what you want to do. So there's that. Nickel. I don't think any diamonds though. Although it really hasn't been... Actually, let's go have a look. It hasn't been running for too long. I think we should be able to see how long it has been running. I was wondering what happens if you went through and then you kind of landed on the other side. Does it still teleport you? But no, it doesn't. Uh, right. So this is it. Um, it's running. There's two mine. Okay, still got um three thousand, almost four thousand blocks to. Mine. I'm not gonna go into the config. But basically, you can tell it what to mine, and I've just told it to mine ores and nothing else. It's going to leave the stone and just mine all the ores. And also, the last thing I made was an entangler porter, and that is wirely transporting um, power over to here. So, um, so yeah, I had the I had the entangler porter up against the machine, and it wouldn't 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 um accept the power i don't know why so i um i had to put a pipe on it and then that's fine really i should probably upgrade this pipe i don't know if i have anything to upgrade it with i will at some point. but yeah so that was that was it that was basically everything that i went over in the last episode so let's do this again and go on with what I was going to do in the next episode, which is um, indus industrial foregoing. I've already started this, um, this section, mystical agriculture, because once you've seen it, once you've seen it, you've seen it all. Basically, it's very easy. And um, it was the reason why I went dungeoneering, because to make the all the altar infusion altar 
you do need a hateful heart so that's why i went um but i will probably do this in between times this on the other hand we need to get into i mean we're getting towards the end game now and a lot of things need industrial foregoing because i was going to do some more mystic um mechanism but then that needs stuff from industrial foregoing so we need to start doing it so the first thing is that we need dry rubber and it says industrial foregoing is a mod that will allow increased factory production through the use of machines like the dissolution chamber to create machine frames tools and even a laser drill quarry if you choose if you already have been producing resin for use in no you should already have been using you should already have been producing resin for use in other mods it will be a common binding agent for machines in this mod using a fractionating still you can extract rosin from resin and that will turn into tiny dry rubber which can be combined into dry rubber okay so tiny dry rubber is rosin in a redstone furnace and rosin is resin in a fractionating fractionating still what do you do with tree oil though tree oil can be turned into maple syrup and continuous conten, conatis fluid and conatis fluid has something to do with woot that's all i know so we need to make a fractionating still do we have one we do we don't even have to make one that is awesome okay um which side should we go on i guess this side we put the still here it needs power i can run power from let's see where are we going to run the power from along the ceiling to actually okay let's make some power pipes i didn't think about this i was thinking about the other stuff and that's what basic cable pressurized logistical mechanical actually you know what we can make the next gear up once um that is advanced work, advanced universal case. Is that the only way you can make it? Oh, okay. Redstone what? And we're missing copper what? All right, let's see how many copper wires we can. And actually, if I drop my, um, I drop my engineer's cutters. Let's see. What's that? Oh, oh, it's create copper metal press. Okay. How do you make the metal press? I've been meaning to do that. Are you not going to? Ah, anyway, we're not going to look at that. Um, how much copper do we have? We have eight copper. Um, copper there it doesn't see it i think it, it's looking for a brand new cutters i've got two yeah it's one it's looking for one that's undamaged so seeing it's damaged it's not going to pull it into the um 
into the recipe, which is a shame. Okay. One redstone. Okay, and why did we... Why did we do this? Oh, I get... I get sidetracked. Why did I get side? What are we making? We want the faction... Oh, we want... um. We want universal cable. Okay. Let's see how much we... 30. All right, and then we want advanced universal cable. To get us 24, which is fine. Actually, let's take that. And then you can also show, you can use that to show off what we can do. Because you can upgrade the cable while it's plugged in you don't necessarily have to take it out and replace it if you take an infused alloy and right click it it will um it will upgrade eight cables so it's done that for eight of the cables and i can do the rest so it, i don't necessarily have to take them out and replace them and i was saying i went and made a shed load circuits or mechanism because you always run out that's one thing whenever i play with mechanism i always run out of circuits so this is just you know it was just the way i'm just trying to be organized everything i think and now oh there you go and now um the pipes have a greater capacity and they are full of they are full of um of energy as you can see the green in them the energy would fill up the pipes go to wherever they're going so um yeah that's just a visual glitch they do have stuff in them you can see this is full of um full of power but it just says there's no power in it one of the glitches about um there you go oh maybe because it wasn't connected all right that could also be there you go so now this is yeah i don't know but it's there filling up but yeah i find mechanism does have does have a lot of visual glitches really annoying all right so now we also want fractionating fill We want to pull from this side. Break the rosin. And ros rosin is a liquid. Oh. Oh. But that would need a mechanical. I've got two elite, which is the net size up, and two basic. All right, configuration, input, but output on the other side. So we'd want a tank. Do we? Oh, we have empty tank. We need a lever because we don't want this. Why am I going this way? I can stay here. I keep forgetting. We need a lever and redstone. We want I signal. Right, so then that's not gonna work until we tell it to work. Uh configurator. Uh there it is. So we can pull. Yeah.
you know what? I think this doesn't like... I don't think this likes the mechanism pipes because I had a problem before trying to get stuff into it. And it, what do we know work on? We know the ender tank. I might just might just stick an ender tank on the Oh, but that will take forever though. That will take forever. Going in 50 miller buckets at a time. Um, can I just, um, I just take a bucket? Okay. So what's going in this? Tea tree oil. Ah! That was a bit rubbish. I have to remember, don't hit it. All right, so there's resin going in. It's making rosin. And I'm going to have to find what pipes work. I think the fluid pipes work, didn't they? Remember. I think that's what worked. Oops. No, I don't think they did. Oh, my days. It would help if I could spell fluid pipe. I don't think the fluid pipes did work. I remember correctly. Let's try it anyway. Um, yeah. It's not. Yeah, it's not working. The fluid pipes didn't. I'll have to try and find out what kind of pipes work. Take that off then. And so we have of rose. And then we have to dry the Is it just in the redstone furnace? Oh, you can smelt it as well. Okay. Because my redstone furnace is upstairs. And I will make a pattern for it. But I've got to make another Emmy. Another Emmy thing. I've wasted enough time. Oh, there it is. I've wasted... It's gone into the system. Ugh. Alright, let's have a quick look. Can I make another one? Yes, I can. And then make it flat. Um, I want cable. Normal cable. Let's do this and make the thing. The thing? The thing. It told you thing. Very um very technical to it is. Furnace. Actually, I don't need. Now, if I add anything on the side, it's going to get in the way. Add it on top. Right. Now, if I look at the ME interface, it should show me two. No, it's not. Oh, there you go. Nothing. That's it. So we want to make a pattern for cable, but for rosin. No, dry rubber. Rubber. Right, so I need dry rubber and it cannot identify recipe. That's interesting. Okay, so that means then I'm going to have to do it manually. Because there's some, for some reason, it does, um, AE2 doesn't like some of the recipes. Do we have any rosin in here? Yes. Okay, so. We tell it. We want to make, all right, we cleared this. We want to make tiny dry rubber and you use 
rosin. So one rosin gives you tiny dry rubber. Code so the pattern. And then if I go to the pattern in to turn in the interface terminal, there's nothing, but it's the redstone that the no, that's did I not take it out? Yes, I did. You press shift, it shows you what the pattern is going to create. So yeah. So you want this one that says nothing. Put that there, but we know that's the redstone furnace. And then if we tell yes, we can tell it to craft tiny dry rubber. We want one. It's in rose. Oh no, because it's in my inventory. There you go. Again, craft tiny dry rubber. We want one. So to craft one, available one, and start. Scheduled. Available. I don't like schedule. Why is it telling me schedule? Uh, probably because I didn't tell the redstone furnace to take in from the top. Ah, uh, that's the top right. Input. There you go. Did it. I always forget that. I will go and set it up and it's like, it's not working. It's because I haven't put it to input. Okay, so we should have the pellet, tiny dry rubber. And that should make us one. Then I should also make another pattern. This time it's not processing, it's a crafting pattern. And I want to make dry rubber and the dry rubber is nine tiny dry rubber. That's that pattern. So that can go into the molecular, where's the pattern there? into the molecular assembler, which is the machine there on the left-hand side. And that means you don't need a machine to do it. There you go. Right, so. Uh, what else do we want 16, what one? This is gonna take a while, but um, yeah. Let's do that. And then let's do that in the dissolution chamber and then I'm going to stop. So I will be back in a second once I've got my 16 by rubber. You in a tick. And no, not nine. We want 16. I was just about to say, and I've done it, but I don't want nine. I want 16. <laughs> nine. 13. There you go. Ah. Right, so we've done that. We get industrial four going. Your, then we want the dissolution chamber, and I have everything except these. We need to get the imbued whatever it is, idol of sacrifice. Two of those, and we need how many AI chips? Two AI chips. Need silver plates. We need eight silver plates. I was going to do woot, but then um I looked I was looking through the quest and I realized we need stuff from we needed uh like rubber and stuff. So it makes sense to do industrial foregoing first and then you go back to everything else. Two of those steel casing. and it gives us a playlist for um industrial foregoing okay a visual how-to guide um automate using the dissolution chamber that will be interesting all right so that means this can go upstairs because i think i'm going to need it upstairs Where our other machines are. Put it here for now. Yeah. 
lots of stuff. Okay. So, got our industrial foregoing manual. I've done stuff with industrial foregoing. Can't say I'm really good at it, but I've done it. And we need to get latex. Next thing. Oh, we're going to have to grow a tree and get latex from it and all kinds of stuff. And I'm guessing this is where we're going to get into um, fluid. Having a fluid storage. I'm going to have to start making fluid storage. All these different fluids that we're storing, I mean that we're using, we need to put it into storage. Yeah. So, the next thing... Simple machine frames. Simple machine frame. Okay, plastic. We only have to do one more. Okay, gold gear, steel, plastic, and a pity machine frame. Pity machine frame is this. So let's quickly do that and then we can finish. Right, we want a simple machine frame. I already have three. Steel, alumite, Resin, plastic, pity machine. Gold gear, two plastic. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, pity machine frame, eight. And the rosin in the middle. Right? Okay, let us go up. Right? Not yet. We have you. Take you over here where we have the cable. Um, solution chamber. Okay, so we have a bucket of resin. And I believe this is a shapeless recipe. You can put stuff wherever you want. As long as it's, as long as it's everything that you need for the recipe. There you go. See? Because I used to spend all this time trying to get it correct, and then I discovered it's a shapeless recipe. So it's fine. And we have our simple machine frame. And... And that's that. And we get a mob imprisonment tool. Nice! I like those. Better than the, than the Pokeball. Okay. Um... Proper livestock management, that's where we're going. Okay, so that's the animal feeder, animal rancher, and the animal baby separator. We will do that in the next episode. This is where we finish. So we've got the dissolution chamber, which can be automated. We have... What else did we do? We got this thing over here. And we found... And we, we're making rubber. Fractionating still. That's the word I wanted. And we're making rubber. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.